Today, I'm reviewing this USB Bluetooth speaker phone by New Room. We're going to go ahead, just open this up, uh, free this from the packaging. And when we open up the box, we have a small box in here, as well as a warranty card, some quick start uh, guide instructions, which appears to be uh, just two pieces of two sides of a small piece of paper. Feels like it should be a bit more. And we also have a user manual. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some pictures up there. Looks like we've got several languages. Uh, instructions are three panels per language. We'll take a picture of that, get that on the review. Inside the small box here, uh, it looks like there's going to be a USB dongle as well as a USB cable. And we're going to take a look at what we've got. Uh, inside a small baggie, we do have a USB dongle. And also inside this box, as expected, is a USB-C to USB-A cable uh, to connect this uh, to your computer. And looks like the one end is USB-A or USB-C. So if your computer does not have USB-C, it does come with an adapter built in. It's always a good thing. The New Room speakerphone itself comes in a nice kind of neoprene zip case for carrying. I've unzipped that and I'm going to remove it. Uh, this case is a bit soft. It's very form-fitting. Uh, the only downside here I see, let's, let me take a quick look here. Yeah, you can still fit the USB cable and that dongle in here, but it's going to make it kind of bulgy. It would have been nice if there were uh, spaces more specific to hold these cables. So if you're traveling with this, who wants to have cables outside of the carrying case? We're removing this from the case again, taking a look at the unit itself. And we have a few buttons on here, power, there's a, a call button, a plus and minus volume, there's a mute and a Bluetooth indicator. On the back side, we have an auxiliary port, uh, kind of a chain, that would be for daisy chain to additional new battery room units. High. And apparently I turned this on and it's letting me know that it shipped with a high battery charge. It's always a nice thing. On the, the back, there's a reset button, which you'd have to depress with probably the end of a pen. There is two different USB-C ports, one meant to be connected to the computer, indicated by a computer icon. And there's another one uh, that I'm going to assume is meant for charging. It is showing a charge cable on there. What I'll do is get this connected to my computer, see if I run into any problems or any driver requirements. I'll then record my voice and see if the audio quality is comparable to what you're hearing now, which is from a condenser microphone, and, or we'll just see how it compares. And right now I'm using the new room for audio capture. We're gonna go ahead and listen to this, see how the voice quality compares to the condenser microphone I was using previously. Uh, so once again, right now, we're going to go ahead and use this as a, I am talking on the new room speakerphone. I am roughly 18 inches away from the speakerphone itself, so it's fairly close. And I'm speaking in a more or less conversational tone, not aiming my voice in any way. And I have now gone and muted the new room and I'm speaking to the condenser microphone just so we can see which one sounds better. Uh, right now I'm gonna to continue to talk on the condenser microphone and we're gonna get a couple of last measurements here. The new room is about 16, I'm sorry, six and a half inches wide and it's about four and a half inches um, in the other dimension and the height is about an inch, is about an inch and a half high. Uh, this did connect with USB-C to my computer. I did not have to install any drivers. It was more or less plug and play. I did have to select the audio output device as well as the microphone device, uh, but that was fairly simple and straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to how the audio sounds and then we will make our judgment and give this a star rating. And now what I'm going to do is test the Bluetooth pairing. We're gonna go ahead and touch the Bluetooth button and go ahead and try to join from my my smart device. Perry. Right now I'm searching for it. I shows up in my list very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and press the button to join and pair. 
one device connected. Sounds like it paired very quickly and very effortlessly. I am seeing 80% battery charge. It did say high battery when it shipped and that means 80%. And what I can do is just make sure that this can play back uh, audio. And when I was playing back music through the new room, uh, the volume seemed very sufficient. However, once you turn the volume up, the, the audio quality kind of breaks down a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot of bass. Not, not the highest quality for listening to music. However, for voice and using it as a speakerphone is more than sufficient. I feel like this is a reasonably priced unit. Uh, not, not the most affordable, but it's not overpriced in any stretch. I would go ahead and rate this four out of five stars.